it's crazy fangirl shiny hope you guys are having an amazing day so today we're going to be watching the fourth episode of outlander season five so as i said with the third episode of outlander that actually was one of my favorites i absolutely loved all the sort of topics that was covered because you know it was very conflicting and it was really a conflicting episode especially like after like filming i was thinking about that episode for quite a while i also want to just quickly apologize for the fact that this episode is being like released so late like my reaction because uh, i'm this week i went back to uni so everything's like all over the place anyway we're gonna get jump straight into this episode because i'm excited but I also have to go and do some homework, so that's why. And yeah, I'm looking very forward to this. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but to also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. I wonder what he did. What do you want with Walter? Any of concern? Him over. Love? It also kind of reminds you of like, because of the fact that Jamie missed all that time with Brianna being a little baby, um, oh, just seeing like, you know, obviously Claire holding a baby must be such a big deal for Jamie because, you know, he always imagined um, seeing that in front of him with Brianna, but unfortunately that whole thing happened with the Jacobite rising and she had to leave. And it was so heartbreaking because, you know, like she was pregnant and he, such a sweetheart, like the perfect guy. <laughs> <laughs> was like making sure like she was okay and like you know if she was getting her period or anything like that and then you know obviously she ended up pregnant and he was just so careful with her it's like the dream guy come on and you know obviously for Jamie he didn't even see Brianna obviously he only knew that she was growing in her mama's stomach and you know the next thing he sees her as like a young woman like that must be so like like strange like you know like it's crazy but, like, you know, at this point in time with this child, he must be, like, kind of just, like, lapping it up. The fact that, you know, he's hol she's holding a child and, you know, like, not nursing her, obviously, because she's not pregnant, but, you know, or has the breast milk. But, you know, that she's, like, just holding the baby, you know, as she probably would have with Brianna and stuff like that. So, it's kind of sad, but it's also really sweet that we get to see kind of like that now. Especially between both Jamie and Claire. Okay, just asking, is Roger supposed to sing all the freaking time in every single episode? Last episode we didn't get it, thank god, but what's this thing with him suddenly singing in almost every single episode? Um, I don't remember him singing in season 4, so is this like a new thing? I don't know. Or was this in the books? Um, I'd be happy to know that, but I don't know, it's just so sudden, I'm just like, did you sing this whole time? So yeah, anyway. Regretfully, I already have a wife. Oh. So you weren't careful? Well, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Contraception? So is this someone else from the future too? Me. Oh! You. Fergus. So quiet. Again. That's lovely. Wait, just pause because, and I spoke about this in the last episode a little, oh, a little bit. Well, my worries for the child because you know she is the daughter of you know perhaps like a slave, and you know, obviously her mum didn't have the best reputation either. So like that's why I was worried about you know how people would look at the child um, because of her, the color of her skin. But that's kind of nice though, like to see that they're very accepting of it. Like I know like it's storytelling, but I I do like imagine that there would have been really kind people who would have done the same thing, and I hope, um, 
But yeah, that was just a really nice touch. He's already married. What do you mean? Um, he's also not worth your tears. Yeah, definitely not. She seems like a sweet girl. No one else will ever want me. Oh, she's pregnant. We didn't spend a day in hell to secure the safety of those lads to see them suffer now. Kill them both. Mm. And return to me. Ah! Roger Mag. <laughs> Old French Capitaine via the Latin lead to my wife home. Whoa. Jamie's not happy. That's true. Yes, Brianna, get rid of them. Burn them. Jesus. I think now she's just realizing how like how much focus she put onto that like bad memory. So now she's gonna feel like a little bit of relief, I think, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, the girls at my school, because it was a Brigidine school, and it was run by like, I think there was, oh, they were Irish. Um, Bridgetine sisters, and there were some girls who did do this dance, so that brings kind of good memories too. Yay, Jimmy! <laughs> Hold a sec, hold a sec before there's drama, whatever's about to happen. <sighs> Jamie, oh. Like, I understand why, because from what I, what I got from that, because my heart was just pumping and then I was like, oh wait, I think I was in the same state as like, kind of like what Jamie was in, because I understood that she didn't obviously want to take the child on, which is understandable, but, you know, at the same time, I understand where Jamie's coming from as well, but in a way, I also understand where Claire's coming from. Because the fact that she said regret is not a good choice, or just something like that, to obviously take on a child, um, is understandable though. Because I think, yes, Jamie wants to obviously watch um, this child grow up, but also do it with Claire. But the thing is, I don't think he understands and this is something that happened last season as well. He doesn't really fully understand, you know, the circumstances and the consequences that could happen if they do that, especially with this child. Um, it's such a beautiful thing that Jamie wants, but at the same time, I understand where Claire is coming from as well. So I'm going to quickly shut up because the gunshot. I'll talk more about it after. Alicia. <gasps> I don't know why they're cute, but yes. he's a douche. I'm a fool, as you said. As are you. And as is the colonel. <laughs> You're telling me that if someone told you to leave. That's true, actually. If either of you would go and leave the women you love with all your heart, say it now. Yeah, Jamie. <laughs> oh. That was a nice episode. I'll say definitely that that was like a very um, 
Like, because I feel like it was kind of like a bit of a filler episode, kind of like the previous one, but the previous one was good. But I really like this episode because it did cover, like, a lot of different topics that kind of have been started up in this season. Um, for example, the whole thing with Stephen Bonnet. Let's start off with that. Um, I hope that Brianna confides more in Marsley because as much as I like that other girl who's from the last season who, you know, Brianna brought along with her from, I think it was Scotland, she brought her with her, like, that woman, you know, the father was, like, giving her away and saying, like, you know, I need someone to hire her. I can't remember her name. But I would really like to see if Brianna and Marsley kind of, like, connect a bit more. Because last se season, they did not connect at all. Because I feel like with Marsley, um, she just, she seems like that friend who is such a good friend who just is willing to listen if you have a problem. And I have a few friends that are like that and they're amazing. And, you know, when you have a friend like that, especially in times like this, especially with Marcy, because Marcy is a little bit more forward think thinking than the rest of the community that is at Fraser's Ridge. So I think that it'll be good for Brianna to kind of like become, you know, closer friends with her. The whole thing with Jamie and Claire with the baby, I would have really liked them to have kept the child. Like, I'm not sure, obviously, if they are going to. Like, it, it seems like Claire doesn't really want to go down that path, I guess, with raising another child, and I guess she's kind of also thinking again with the consequences of what could happen, especially in the years coming. I mean, it, it, it's sad though. I understand where Claire's coming from completely, but you know, you have to think about it from Jamie's perspective as well, because he's missed out on so much, and it's so sad, because you know, we all know that he will be a great father, and he's, he is, though, even though it isn't to like a baby. It, it, he's been such a great father, with a few misunderstandings, to Brianna. But at the same time, he's such a great father. But yeah, I also would have wished they kept the child. But anyway, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Maybe they might keep the baby? I, I would like that, but probably not with things going on with the regulators and stuff. I would really doubt it. The whole thing with Roger, like, as you guys know, I don't really like Roger as a character, so I didn't really care. But um, I do like the fact that, you know, he didn't really make a big deal at the end. I do... <laughs> I do like the fact that both Jamie and Roger were called out at the end, you know, because they both love their women so much. And though that particular guy didn't know what they've been through with the people that they love, like, the, both Jamie and Roger were like, oh shit, like, that's so true. Because, you know, first of all, with, like, Jamie, technically he's kind of, like, waited his whole life for Claire to come back. And she did. And then with Roger, he gave up everything in the modern world to come after Brianna. So that just shows how much both men love their significant others. So in a way, I'm glad that that guy called them out on their bullshit. Um, so yeah. Oh, my heart. Like, just the romance in this. I love it. And yum, 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 yum. I love romance. Ugh. Oh, nice. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Outlander. Again, I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to fall back into falling in love with Outlander. I was a bit worried, but now I'm starting to kind of be like, mm, I'm enjoying these episodes. So yeah, you can, you'll catch me enjoying these episodes more and more often, probably. I will say that again, like I know at the beginning of the season I did say Claire's kind of missing something. Something. And I think she's kind of falling back into what she used to be, you know, like sh like seeing how much Claire has grown and especially again She's starting to kind of feel like the Claire from season one again, but with so much experience Like I'm, I'm loving it and I'm falling in love all over again with the show So I'm so glad that you know And I'm guessing like people were saying in my comment section in the first episode that it has to be you know the influence of um, both Claire not Claire blah, 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 blah. Katrina and Sam both putting their influence on the show because of the fact that, you know, last season from people who I've talked to, people have said that, you know, last season was a lot of not off the books. So I, I'm guessing maybe they've kind of did, like tried to like push the characters in, into what they used to be because obviously they want the show to keep going and they want the fans to be happy. So I'm glad that they're focused on making the characters as genuine as possible because from what I see, I think they're doing a good job and I'm falling in love with them again, so mm -mm, I'm enjoying it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!